I'd walk past the door handle and I would catch him my gilet <laughs> and I would just be like, <laughs> we don't need that anymore. Put on the she Alexa. loves him and George Lucas. George Lucas? Or nah. <laughs> what do you call Star Wars, Wars guy? <laughs> no, 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 sorry. What do you call <laughs> Like, my house in Budapest. Uh. George Hesworth. <laughs> I'm running because I'm mental, not because I'm fat. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my glasses are off. Just some calories you can't burn. <laughs> I mind calories. <laughs> nah, my rest, man, is a showcase to the immortals. What's that mean? It's the grand, it's the Super Bowl of the squared circle. <laughs> You know, does that get you up a route there? Nah, it's too much sprinkles. I said, let it out. Ah! More. You got more in you? Ah! There we go. <laughs> Penetrate my drain. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's episode 55. Yeah. Out of the park. This uh, sound pad's very responsive and loud today. I like it. Nice. Yeah. You can't even hear, can no, you? I can hear it. Fine. Yeah. Shut up, bitch. It's episode 55. Uh, we're here. We're queer. It's a two It's a two muffin day. It's a two muffin day. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Walking around, it's a two muffin day. We've both had it. We've both had a day. Yeah. And <laughs> sometimes... The only thing the doctor prescribes is two breakfast muffins. It's days like us where you really notice how shade the weather is. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Like it's... when you're having a shade day and then you look out in the sky and it's grey and musty and porn, you're like, fuck me. Porn? Yeah. Porn? Porn with rain? Because <laughs> <laughs> you were supposed to have your, I mean, I talked about that, you were supposed to have your visa interview today. Yes. And they postponed it. They did. That's a big, that, that's a big, like, work yourself up and then they're like, wait another day and you're like, ah. Oh yeah, I woke up today, free on school boy Q was ready to rock. This guy's like, up at half five? Whatever questions they have, I'm ready for it. Yeah. Up at half five, I had tea and toast. <laughs> was ready to go. The breakfast of champions. And then literally as my sister came to lead me down to the bus, I checked the consulate website and it was like, yeah, appointment's been rescheduled. And I was like, oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Maybe someone was uh, flying in for it and <laughs> the, yeah. the, weather, the weather was terrible. The weather was terrible. Coming up in that car there. I was thinking about the person interviewing me too, like in depth. I was like, you know, I hope they have a real good morning. I hope they're having a great week. Yeah. You know, hope they get sucked off in the morning. I think they get up, schoolboy Q, sucked off, <laughs> tea and toast. Because they catch you, like, you know, they try and catch you with all these old questions and all, you know, these people are trained to catch you out. So it was freaking me out, all the scenarios. I was just playing them all in my head. Have you spoke to anyone that's done this interview before? What would they be asking you? Do you like terrorism? <laughs> and then doing the Larry David like <laughs> you know yeah well I had like a I had like a what would we say like a a soft go with it with my uh, lawyer oh yeah and he asked me two questions and then his feedback was just like I'd probably just swap them around just say that first that's it is that it yeah I think he's putting too much pressure on you just go in there and be your, your vibrant self yeah I'm just gonna go on and just you, you be, knowing you you ask them more questions than they'll ask you <laughs> do you know you mean to marry yourself at all <laughs> what would be your favourite food give me top three favourite places to have a hot dog what sort of hot dog do you like you need favourite Wendy's item favourite Wendy's item <laughs> I'll give you time uh, top seven items you have ten seconds go <laughs> dun, 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 dun. just items in general yeah <laughs> 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 what is your top seven items <laughs> Of anything? <laughs> yeah, just oh, gen fuck. general items. Like, what, what's that thing they do on, is it... Uh, GQ. I, GQ, I was going to say Q. Q Radio. Uh, <laughs> what is it, like, you can't live without them or something? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a fun game. Yeah. That's a fun game. What do you always have on your person? Uh, I would definitely, like, if I was making that list, mm -hmm. okay, I would go... I always want phone. Phone, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, phone... Um. I always have... I think that's it. For me. <laughs> just walking down the street with your cock about it. <laughs> just walking down the street with your dick out. I'm good. <laughs> I'm knowing you. It's got 2% battery and no data, but at least I can take a photo. <laughs> Literally asked now while you, while you were in the toilet for a charger. Because I knew you'd have something to say about it. Uh, it's in the back. I was like, oh, it is a shit. <laughs> I'll ask for a charger. Oh, I was fucking up. I was through that door. Like Sir, you a long shit. Uh, what were oh, you doing there? Oh, it is. I had a seed drop yesterday, so it's like compost like, flying out of me. Niall, you went in there, five minutes later, Niall came in, we caught up, yep. and then you were out there. Yeah. 
like a full thing had happened. I do what I want. Yeah, you're not take your damn shit. You've earned it. Top seven things I can't live without shit. That's one of them. Uh, I mean, it would probably be you know what I what I have on me at all times. Laptop. You know, if I have a laptop and a phone, mm-hmm. anything else goes. Nice hat, maybe. You know, it could go like if it was on GQ, it could be like got a nice hat. But I do have fi- five hundred and seventy of them at, at the house. Yeah, some sort of hat. Uh, nice pair of shoes, maybe. Mm-hmm. That Leatherman's come in handy recently. Use that Leatherman quite a bit. What's that? It's like a multi tool. I've been using it flat out for you know wee bits about the house. And you seen it, the black one? No, it's I don't got a it. knife in it and a saw. And a oh yeah, I've seen that. Pliers yeah. and all. Yeah, I've been making use of that. Handy. It's good to have one. You can't bring it through an airport, probably. Um, no, definitely not. But it's you know what I mean. It's like now, God, God forbid, I guns were legal over here because I you know like I wouldn't find a use for that thing unless I had it on me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. That looks like it requires pliers. Oh, I could cut that with this. Straight on no guessing. But if I, if I had a gun, I'd be like, I could, I'll just leave it in my pocket all day. Oh, I, who, am I got, who am I going to shoot today? Lock the front door, shoot it open. <laughs> yeah, you'd be using it for yeah. everything. <laughs> you sit down and watch a movie. Turn that light off. <laughs> you fall over and get embarrassed, I'd eventually shoot the floor. Oh, yeah. I could see you doing that. I'd walk past the door handle and I would catch in my gilet <laughs> and I would just be like... <laughs> We don't need that anymore. <laughs> yeah, anything annoying. You know? <laughs> yeah, you've been using it forever. Fine. Just waiting the traffic lights. <laughs> Just take off. Fuck that. No, no, I'm working. Bye. There's that. I was saying earlier, there's traffic lights near my house because they're doing a bit of road work. I've seen two crashes. They weren't. They weren't. No, 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 two, you know, what they call a fender bender in America. We dodging bumps. Uh, both occasions. Women. But here, I. I don't know. That's just a coincidence. Yeah. That doesn't... There's no more to that. <sighs> you just so happen to see two women in a crash. Yeah. Minor crash. Do you have a crash? Bump. Yeah. Up over that hill. Oh, God. <laughs> you know. What else is on my top seven items? What have you got there? Free? Hat. What else do I carry about in my person? You usually have a camera on you. The Nordics? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll write camera there and pretend I'm some sort of filmmaker, even though <laughs> even though the other day I, uh, yesterday, the, shout out to Koo, Koo, is it Koo an ice bath, sent me an ice bath and I used it for a sketch and they sent it to me and they said, I'll just try it out. And I went, here, we'll see if I can fit in it. Did I fit in it? No. Yes. No? Uh, so, uh, just, they need to make them in an oval. Here's my notes if I was on Dragon's Den. Make them in an oval shape so that I have somewhere to put my legs. Yes. Because I, I got in it and I squatted. Were you like knees tucked? Oh, I squatted down in it and my knees were pushing the front out. My ass was pushing the back <laughs> out. And then I could only get, get so low, you know, so it was ice bath just to my tits. Basically. I feel like you're not supposed to sit like that, not. What do you think? Well, like, you know, if you're like that, surely your ass is widened and you're having all that ice water go up your hole. That's probably not good. What do you suggest? The handstand? Well, no, the, I think the oval is a great idea, you know, to be able to sit down and sort of flatten that. Yeah. But no, I'm I'm doing. A, imagine doing a squat in just a box that you can't get fully down. That's what it was. It was my, like my back was hitting it and my knees were hitting it, and I was like, I'm going nowhere. Yeah. But did you feel charged? It was certainly charged. Yeah. Do you think I, you'll get regular use of this? Um. I here's what I have. Right, I have a rally tent, which I bought on a whim. You know me, heady hitchy. Mm-hmm. And I was in the summer. I was going to put that up outside the door of the garage. Have the ice bath uh, just there. Mm-hmm. And then I could come out in the morning, splosh into it. Because I was doing it for a sketch, but, it, you know, it was enough to get me fucking zinged up. No, one more time, you bought a what? Rally tent. So can you tell me what that is? It's a, so they use them for like rallying. So it's like a pop-up tent, so it folds down. Uh-huh. And then you grab each corner and pull it and it all extends and goes up. It's okay. Like pop-up tent with a roof. Okay. Gazebo. And you use this for? I don't know. You were saying it I was going to be I- post-ice bath? No, you, you know, it's just, it's, it's a covered, ha- it's a, it's a sheltered area. You want to dry off for the pop-up too? Yeah. <laughs> but I'll put up in the, the better weather so that I'll make, I'll put, I'll put other stuff. You get the use oh, of it. No, do you know what it's for? Actually, what I bought it for? To put a car under. Oh, okay. There we go. To put that old car under. That makes more save, sense. Save the leaves hitting and the birds <laughs> shiting all of it. <laughs> that makes more sense. But it's been too windy and raining to put the fucking thing up anyway. Yeah, of for, course. For the last five months since I bought it. Yeah. Hmm? The past eight months has been bleak. And the year before was worse. I remember, you know, just thinking this is the longest winter of all time. Yeah. And there's, there's no real summer. Wet. 
Well, May usually we kick up a what gear. What do we do? What do we do? May we usually get into. What do we do? Like, see if you if you took mushrooms, never taken them. If you took mushrooms, got into one of those isolation tanks. We'd all come out and go. Let's just move to Austin. What are we doing? Mm. Are we mental? I think that's what I did. Do. Yeah, I think that's what I did. Do. Yeah. Well, you're going to New York. <laughs> yeah. It'll be like this. Well, yeah, it'll be like it, but it has, at least it has like seasons. You know? Yeah, it does have. It's true. We have seasons for like an hour. We have two weeks of summer, and when they come, it's good. Yeah, you appreciate. Oh, it. you wouldn't want to be anywhere else when the sun comes out in this country. It's true. It's true. Straight up the port. I wouldn't take anyone over the port in the good weather. <laughs> There's no place I'd rather be. Who sang that? <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God, so you were standing out in the fucking. Keep your monaco. <laughs> keep keep it all. Yeah. I'm going to the port. What's the call to you know get get to the airport and fucking go for security and all that bullshit just to end up in somewhere that's kind of copy and paste to the port in the good weather? Yeah, copy and paste in the port. It is. <laughs> I get the hiccups there. <laughs> right, seventh item. Let's go. Uh, for yourself, what do you usually have on you? Watch. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Bingo. Eight watches. <laughs> it's Eight so watch. impressive. It's genuinely impressive to have seven items. I literally have, I would have Nordex, phone, receipts, Fuck. McDonald's receipts, <laughs> Gax. For your ma to give off to you. <laughs> I'm select. <laughs> what a jive them. Nah, I've, I've came around that now. Get out of my eyes. They go straight in the bun. Your, your ma was telling, or your ma was telling me. <laughs> I'm just, what the fuck? She doesn't even know what I work at online. Uh, yeah. Oh, she does. She does. <laughs> oh, she does. I've seen her on that couch. <laughs> Land, land of the Shay Long. <laughs> Shut the down. Who's he? Uh, I, I'm wondering what your phone bill is per month. Oh, it's probably ridiculous. No, it? She runs it up. Like, she's like, if I can keep it under a grand, I'll be happy enough. Yeah. Unreal. You were saying she's a big hosier fan? Oh, I love him. Yeah? Loves him. Did she put it on? Put it on the She Alexa? loves him and George Lucas. George Lucas? Or not? Nah. <laughs> what are you calling? Star Wars, Wars guy? <laughs> no, no, no. Sorry. What are you calling? Like my house in Budapest, uh. George Hasler. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what he says? She loves George Foreman. <laughs> I bet some <laughs> here often. <laughs> she loves George Ezra. <laughs> she loves George Ezra. That's mad. <laughs> she loves that one song. Budapest loves that song. Will she? Will she shout at the Alexa? Though? No, she'll never shout. She'll never shout songs to Alexa. She'll just say Alexa, play Downtown Country. And then just hang out for George Ezra all yeah. <laughs> Please, God. Speaking of which, the country stores are wild now. Morgan Wallen, he got a bit of a chip. <laughs> for like a chair of a hotel or something. You see this? You heard about this? <laughs> and they're giving him chip. And you're like, can we not just go back to when people were rock stars, you know? You know, you can't even throw a chair nowadays. What am I typing in here? Morgan Wallen loses run of himself? Or what? Morgan Wallen chair. Oh, is there video of this since? I, d- I don't know, actually. Oh, here it is. I'll throw a chair out of the window. TMZ. <laughs> Watch here, it says. Watch this chair. Oh, you bad bastard, you! <laughs> is that it? Okay, hey, these okay. guys be wild. Oh, okay. Fucking hell. These country stores are out of control. That guy makes Ozzy Osbourne look like a poster. <laughs> Anyone can bite a bat. I'm throwing a chair. I don't know what's weirder, you being, or your ma being in the hosier and uh, George Lucas. <laughs> or now going off on Ice Spice this week. Like he's, oh, I know. Yeah. Like Ice Spice, man. <laughs> My new favourite. His new favourite. <laughs> now twerking in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, the shit bitch. You're not even the fart. But bars. <laughs> As I said to you earlier, all rap songs written in three minutes. Yeah. With, with a knife to your throat these days that's why when someone like Scooby Boyku comes along you go fuck it's back oh it's back back. an artist by god an artist writing a song uh you might be popping out to the hosier I love that's great I was telling you you're in the car but I'll tell you again for the sake of the podcast go ahead um Tim the other day this is great we bumped into a mutual friend and uh we started talking for a bit and her favourite film was the Titanic and Tim goes oh I've seen the they're making Titanic 2. And I was like, I guarantee you they're not. Because it's done. It's one time thing. 
And then we started going back and forth, and I was like, you know, you can't do <laughs> sequel films to tragedies because they're a one and done type thing. And then I said, uh, I was like, make an Auschwitz Tokyo Drift. <laughs> And your mutual friend spatter <laughs> flat white all over your face. Oh, flat white through the nose. You know what that one? I feel like Tim was just trying to res up some chicks, was he? <laughs> Terrible. Just making conversation. <laughs> well, no, she's a win, like so. Here they're making Titanic two. <laughs> Titanic two. Was it like a? I remember you saw like a fake thriller or something. I don't know. Is it true? That while there have been no sequels to James Cameron's Titanic, there have been rumors uh, or numerous films inspired by the real-life tragedy, including Titanic 666, supernatural horror story set on the third Titanic. Oh, ship. that'd be great. Just a real shitty horror based on the Titanic. Yeah. Did you hear? Did you ever hear that Titanic survivor talking? No. And he said that, like, they, they put out the call, like, get into the fucking, you know, the safety raft thing. What do you call them? Lifeboat? Uh... And people were like, nah, you're only messing. And they had the capability to take 800 people. And in the end, only like four or 500 got in there. Because everyone was like, nah, be all right. Be all right. As in, this won't be. They're like, guys, you, you know, it's over the top. Yeah. Look at the size of that ship. It's not sinking. Yeah. You, me you mental. Yeah. And sure enough, she sank. Don't like shit. She sank. Don't like shit in the ocean. What other movies did we say earlier? Apocalypse again. Yeah. <laughs> Schindler's List, Return of the Seth. Return of the List. <laughs> Return of the List. <laughs> He's making a list. He's checking it twice. <laughs> this time he means business. Schindler's List on ice. Schindler's List, Return of the Pesh. <laughs> Return of the Pesh. <laughs> yeah, I know. Liam Neeson be pesh in his pants. Huh? Oh, God. Is he in that? Yeah. Liam Neeson was in Schindler's List. Was he? What other yeah. historic movies are there? What else we got? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Films and tragedies? Uh, oh, God. I feel like I'm in Spain. What did I say earlier? <laughs> Gaza, The Empire Strikes Back. Yeah. She's <laughs> not a movie, but, you know, it could be. He'll cut that out. <laughs> nope. Keep, us, keep, it, keep us on YouTube. <laughs> <Stay in it>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving it in. <laughs> We uh, we witnessed a uh, drama the other week uh, when we were heading back through Apple Greens. Oh, this was right? a public freakout. We went. No, I, I. Do you know what I? I don't know if I talked about this at the time, but I had a, a sat on it for a while, and I was like, "What would make a person uh, freak out <laughs> in an Apple Greens?" And I think this. So we came out of the shop. There was a small Toyota car with a very small man. You know. You know. Very tiny. A wee Davido. A wee Davido type. And there was a guy with a canister, you know, like a jerry can type thing, mm -hmm. in a high vis jacket, and he was walking away frantically, doing up the thing. And this wee guy was going, "Ye bastard! <laughs> Ye fucking ignorant son of a bitch!" And he that was, was my run, he's running back. Huh? That was my favorite. He, he ignorant son of a bitch. Yeah. And uh, he was <laughs> frantic, and he was on the phone, and uh, he, he was with someone. He was with an Asian man. You know, I don't know why or why, but he, he went in the shop and he was fucking got the phone out. And you bastard, no, cheeky bastard. And then the guy drove off and he filmed him and the guy in the car was covering his face. So. Yeah. But the only thing I could figure out when I thought about it for a while was, I wonder, did DeVito, did he fill the car up and then go in to pay? And the, uh, and the other guy snuck up behind him and went, I'm going to fill this, this jerry can and he, he's going to have to pay for it. Or something like that. But that was the only thing I could figure out. Because it was like, why? Like, there's gen there's normally nobody near you when you're like putting petrol in your car. Well, it's just thinking what else could create that reaction? You know, what other scenario could create that reaction in someone? Well, that's, a, that's what I mean. It's very, it's hard, it'd be hard to get into a fight at a petrol pump. Like, yeah. Unless it was like a purge scenario when people are like f trying to fill up their car before they get out of town. Yeah. But I don't know. That's the only thing I could figure out. It was funny hearing someone say, you ignorant son of a bitch. You ignorant son of a bitch. You, I mean, you have to be dying bad to be. And then I was, and then I was talking to Maureen's dad about this. And he's like, I wonder when you fill your car up and put, click it back in, can you take it back out and keep going mm. without it being paid for? So I might try it next time I'm doing it. Oh, fly bastards a bit. Fly bastards. But yeah, the guy, I mean, you'd be fucking. Do you remember that show, The Real Hustle, where they would just show you how to scam people? No. On BBC. Any notes to be taken from it? It was like, you know, uh, it was like a group of hustlers. 
like a, like us, like us, man. <laughs> they walk around the city of London, just scamming people. But you know, petty crimes, you know. So like one was, uh, they would go to a restaurant, and uh, they go to the table next to them, and they order a full meal, pints and all, all have the time of their lives. And then they'd say to the table next to them, "Here, um, I found this jacket. I'm gonna leave it up here to the front, and will you tell them that I just found it by use?" So they go up to the towel ah. and they go, "Hey, we're with that table down there." They said they've got this bill, and then they give the thumbs up, and then the table, thinking it's a jacket, give the thumbs back <laughs> up, and they're fucking bills for the roof. That's I heard Tim Dillon said about that on uh, Diary of a CEO, which was one of the maddest podcasts I've ever seen. Uh, where like one of his dad's mates who they were drinking with went over to the bar man and was like I'll get you around and he went up to the bar and he pointed over and they were like yeah and he's like blah blah sort them out whatever and he left and then they got the bill for this like this guy's uh, tab for like a week mm-hmm. and he goes that a two and a half grand bill or something because the guy basically went I'll get you around and then he pointed over and he was like they said they'd pay for this and he's like yeah oh there's some characters no you couldn't pay for their tab no absolute sieges we well, see they don't do tabs over here, rightly so, because yeah. there'd be a lot of fuckery like that. Yeah, they'd be like, "You pay for it now." Yeah, I don't like th- I don't like the tab thing. I want to know exactly how much the round is every time. Yeah, you know, otherwise it will just end up. Yeah, I did, I did it in Austin a bit. And you, sometimes you get pissed and you leave, you, you forget. I know, and they still have your card. Yeah, I've which done is, that before. Which is the thing? I've left and they've got my fucking card sitting there. I'd be to go back in, walk a shame the next oh, day. Oh, yeah. Hi, yeah. I was absolutely bollocks <laughs> last night. Uh, did I leave my card here? I was bollocks on Sunday, Mr. WrestleMania. Oh, I was going to ask you about WrestleMania. Fuming. I had to watch it Monday. The whole thing spoiled for me. M- missed it as in fell asleep before come on. Went to watch my friend do the Omaha Half Marathon. <laughs> oh, yeah. He wanted to go for a few pints after. There was chat about the fifth pint in. We're like, hey, will we just do a night pilot test for the stag dude now? And then, you know, fucking seven pints from Ryan later, just woke up in my guest room. Oh, man. Who, is, who isn't doing a half marathon? I think there's a there's a stereotype where once people get to, like, near 30, yeah. they think, oh, fuck, I should do a marathon. Yeah. You know? But the, just the surge in half marathons is quite, I've seen, you know. Running's cool. It's back back yeah people love them and everyone's doing it and they're you know i've seen a lot of people on the internet going like you know i was on this guy's page very he was like he wasn't pro fat but he was going yes i am fat and yes i do normal things i'm pro fat he's like you're pro fat yeah this guy was, this guy was just like as the fat everything was like as a fat person but he was out running he, and the thing was like I'm I'm running I'm running because I'm mental, not because I'm fat. Oh God, oh God! <laughs> oh, my glasses are off. Just some calories you can't burn. I <laughs> mind calories. <laughs> <laughs> oh sir, I'm fucking I'm <laughs> for my calories this week. <laughs> <laughs> that ma- that meat reschedule today. I was my fitness pal going for the roof. <laughs> oh yeah, you're if you had a smartwatch on, it'd be like you're dying. <laughs> you're dying of stress right now. I was in the car earlier and I said to him, I was like, I just feel like saying, fuck everybody. And he goes, you should do it. Oh, you should. You should just do that. Yeah. I have a lot of days like that, you know, yeah. where there's fucking 12 people up my ass. Yeah. You did that last week. Be, bro, do you know what's going to get you killed? You know what's going to, I've said this before. You send me a question and I'm driving or I'm with my son. And then you send me a follow up question mark. Oh, that's sick. Oh. No, that's it. That's it. That's passive aggressive. Going to your house, killing you. Yeah. You know? No. Nah. Also, don't, the, who sends people messages going, how's you? You're looking to ride there or something? <laughs> Fuck off. How's, <laughs> you're like, how, how's me? What? <laughs> oh, like, I, like I'm just sitting, you know, at a fucking spa with two cucumbers on my eyes. How's me? I'm oh, chilling. No, I never do that. I call you and really take up your time. Aye. Yeah. But then it's one and done. It's not like, you know, it's not like all day. I'll yeah, do- well, you can't, you can't be, you know. And I'll tell you this, you know, if I answer it, I can answer it. And if I can't, I can't. Listen, men should check in on their friends. It's mm-hmm. very important. But taxing, it's pretty gay. Yeah, I can't get an answer out of that anyone. Anyway. I don't like it. <sighs> Taxing's the worst form of communication. It is. By you, far. You, you add your own uh, context. It goes a lot phone of times. calls, voice notes. Tax. That question mark, Gifts. that added question mark might be, come on, man, let me know you're okay. But it could also be, hey, pay well, attention. Well, I'm terrible texting back. Yeah. Really bad. Notoriously famous. 
<laughs> I have like 12 texts right now that I'm like, I should get back to that. And there's part of, there's part of your brain going like, I will leave it till I can give it proper attention yes. instead of just firing one off. Yeah, exactly. And then you never do it. You never do it. That's you mentally replay, do that a lot. Yeah. And man, I go, no, is the voice, don't type it. Is the voice note a happy medium? The voice note is a happy medium, yeah. Yeah. Because you're going, listen, I can't be fucked sitting down and type this out. Yeah. People do voice to text. I think that's a bit weird. Yeah, I'll do voice to text by accident sometimes. Yeah. I'll do voice to text with the TV on. Yeah. That's just fucking typing in the script of the, the thing Carbon. I'm watching. Yeah. You know. Do you know what I the other day? Ripley. Oh, the fucking... Watch, the, it, watch a few episodes of that. The reboot of Tom Mr. Ripley? Is it? The series? Is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, right, okay, yeah. And your yeah. man, what do you call it? Sexy Bastard? Irish the actor? Irish guy? Can't remember. Three names. Andrew Scott? Is it one name? Two names? Has he got three names? Andrew... Is it Andrew Scott? God, I'm sitting right beside the, the Google too. I watched that film him and Paul Maskell two weeks ago. Oh. Man, I was with my man calories after that. Andrew nice. Scott. He's the right. He's the perfect level of creepy in that Ripley thing. That is a sad one. Because you don't know. What, the... The Paul Maskell film. Is and, it a gay romance? Him. Yeah, it is. But it... Jesus, it it'll... <sighs> left me in a bad place. <laughs> Stop watching these... It's gay tragedies. <laughs> <laughs> Watch something else, man. Go back to wrestling for fuck's sake. It's also a gay tragedy. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I'm like, oh fuck, Quido, because I forgot to finish the story. <laughs> I, I, I keep, I keep seeing fucking clips from WrestleMania, and I'm like, you know, it used to be, like. Don't you, you watch it? No, no. It used to be, <laughs> you know, I'm seeing the clips. You know what? You know, it used to be like cool shit. You know, oh god, here's someone coming down from you know on wires from the sky with his face painted and the cool outfit that he's thought through. Mm -hmm. Why was that guy there dressed as a prime bottle getting kicked? Well, you know, that's <laughs> that, that's a streamer. Uh, what the fuck's his name? Some streamer that's friends with like Logan Paul, whatever. They had him in for a wee yeah. thing, you know. We're older now. Kids love that. Yeah. Oh, that's the guy that I watched plays FIFA. He's getting booted in the chest by Randy Orton. And that's a moment. And he got whiplash, didn't he? Did he actually? I don't know. He was in a neck brace after it. Oh, you fallen for it? Have I fallen for yeah, it? Now you're in too deep. Oh, he's, <laughs> there's me going and losing sleep. That's what I mean. Blur. I like, oh, hey, KSI or whatever. Fuck. Oh, no, it wasn't KSI. What do you call him? <laughs> speed. I, 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 I speed. That's what wrestling does. Blurs lens around. And I was like, oh, Jesus, I hope his neck's okay. Yeah. Not to be messed with. That's me. That's business. Also, Prime. Not so Prime anymore. Can't, nah. can't give it away. The stock's crashed. You boys paying 300 quid to get their kid a bottle of Prime, and I, now people are just fucking using it as screen wash. I knew the second it was in Central, it was done. Aye. It's a pound now. Yeah. It's cheaper than everything. And it tastes like pish. It does. It tastes like fruity pish. It tastes <laughs> like uh, Kool-Aid. Yeah, like really sugary fucking... Flat pish. Yeah. It is a bottle of BDs, like. Bottle of BDs. <laughs> it is. But yeah, he's... Come on, my rest, man. He's a showcase to the immortals. What's that mean? It's the ground. It's the Super Bowl of the squared circle. <laughs> <laughs> Man, night one, night one. I watched it live. I was charged up. Is it in the same place? Both. Oh, there's a fly here. Is it in the same place both nights? Both nights, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's when a recent thing it used to be a one nighter. And who, who won? What is WrestleMania? Who won that? WrestleMania is, you know, it's the kind of think of it as the season finale. Is it the UFC three hundred? What do they do? Just a selection of big lineups, or is there like a tournament type thing, or is it a match? Or no, they will usually have all the championships in the lane, you know, and there'll be storylines that have been going on for maybe six to twelve months. One of the storylines has gone on for two years, Stop. you know. Finally, a culmination. Finally, you know, new champion. Yeah, you know, Roman Reigns, one of the longest reigns in the WWE Championship, yeah. lost it. Huge deal. He's probably going to take time off. See the wife and children. Uh -huh. Is that what is that what happens? They're like, I'll give up the belt for a few months. So we can spend some time at home. Yeah. Ice the knees. Yeah, because they have a hectic schedule. Yeah. You know? And then Raw's going to Netflix in January. WWE stock's going Stop. up. Stop. Prime's going down. What's yeah. that going to be every Monday? Every Monday. Monday. On Netflix. Monday's a weird night to be doing big showcases. You take it out of gander when it's on Netflix. I <laughs> make me. You won't. I Nobody will be able to resist. Nostalgia reasons. A bunch of new fans, new eyes. I'm telling you. Wrestling's back. Wrestling's back and it's bigger than ever. It was great to see The Rock again. What's Vince McMahon doing? Just in a padded cell? Ah, uh, he's... Does he show his face we at all? We don't speak about him. We don't speak about him? No. What a shame. No. He's done. What a shame. He's done, unfortunately. Oh, God, Vince. Why did they push away the legacy in, like, the last years? You know? Mm. All you had to do was not be a pervert. 
for many years would he have laughed at him, maybe 15. But he just couldn't was keep Was he it. a pervert recently? Or is this a stark? Recent enough, yeah. Historic pervert? No, well, I mean, there's probably cases of that too, but this is a recent pervert. Couldn't keep the Mickey in the trousers. <laughs> That's all them exogenous hormones. A man of that age shouldn't be full of testosterone. Uh, he should be full of milky tea yeah. and biscuits. Chill. He should have. If he'd have fucked off and took the milky tea and biscuits, he'd have been grand. Yep. Could have left the legacy, whole thing. Now he's down the toilet. But yeah, it was fun. And then Sunday... Got too fucked up, missed it, watched it Monday. You ever try to avoid spoilers on Instagram? You're it's like, I'll not, I'll not see it. It's tough. First post is seen, a new WWE champion. I was like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Who's so, the champion now? Cody Rhodes. Oh, man. Cody Rhodes. Is it more like, uh, you know, rather than seeing like a live competitive sports match, it's a bit more like... I don't like the way you're talking about it, are Like a movie or like someone, you know, you know the end of a book or something? Man, it's theatre in its purest form. The athleticism, the storylines. Like the theatre's the theatre in its purest The form. production. <laughs> <laughs> Wrestling. Yes. Okay. As a production, it is unbelievable. Okay. Every Monday and Friday, an arena, yeah. packed out, live show, anything can happen. <laughs> What's not to love? Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Or whatever they decide. The Undertaker came back on Sunday. He did not. For 15 he seconds. He did not. <laughs> Where from? He's teeing biscuits area. <laughs> Aye. He's teeing biscuits. Yeah. But, but he came <laughs> out for 15 seconds and what that? <laughs> he should be under digging a rest and fucking putting his feet up. But he was at WrestleMania in Philadelphia. What was he doing? He choke slammed the rock. <laughs> Place my mad. Place my absolutely bonkers. <laughs> is that available? Is it? Well, not be able to show it, but I want to see it. Uh, under. Do we call him the taker? Or we call him the taker? <laughs> Retur- what, returns, is it? Uh, yeah, look up Undertaker. The what WrestleMania did we just have there? 40. So is this him? Yeah, yeah. oh, there's the reactions. World Red Rate. Let me see. I'll not be able to show this. You shut, up, shut, 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 shut up, bitch. <laughs> David, <laughs> what a pop, man. Here's what I will say. To be able to just drop one dong <laughs> and the place goes, it's like when Kanye just goes, <laughs> you know, and everyone's like, yeah. yeah. Would it not be cooler if that just went, <laughs> bong. Yeah. That is horny, actually. For for is just one, for one dong for them to go nuts. Hey, what? She made like it. Oh my God, I came in my goddamn briefs. <laughs> I just... Soiled my briefs, goddamn it! The rocks in a waistcoat for some reason, and goddamn flares. <laughs> Who's this poofed over the fucking head? <laughs> that's, cool. that's a WWE champion. Hey, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes, take me. <laughs> Cody Rhodes, take me home. <laughs> yeah! Look at all the fucking fat nerds not crying. <laughs> By the way, this is. <laughs> 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 They've still got the same voice. It's like gay dudes. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like they still, you can be like French yeah. and also camp. <laughs> the guy's like, who <laughs> ain't a fucking tanker? You know, he's still getting chocolate blood. <laughs> oh, man. It's Le Taker. He's got the same voice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh jeez! <laughs> Let me hear that dong one more time. That <laughs> French is hilarious. <laughs> oh milk! <laughs> milk, milk. <laughs> Many people's are you know? Eighty thousand, eighty thousand, ninety thousand. I love this as well. The fake, the fake talk. <laughs> <laughs> As, uh, I love the, I love when they do the fake. You know, you can't hear what they're saying. I'm like, oh my, who the fuck is this? Like, coming in the ring, you know. He's behind him, my Christ! How you fucking where'd he come from? Where'd he come from? Bong, I'm behind you. And how did the taker coordinate that with a light man? He's, well, like, you're he's like, on the second dong, lad, I'm going to be behind him <laughs> already. And then when the lights go up, I'll be behind him, dong. <clears throat> there was a fan of him getting under the ring, and it doesn't look as cool. No, he's raging. The taker's raging, bro. 
The Undertaker! The Undertaker! Why are we, why are we watching French fucking wrestling right now? This is fucking this is great. The key and the final boss. Oh, oh he's taking him for a ride! <laughs> oh. What's fr what's French for chokeslam? Chokeslam. 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 <laughs> oh, baguette. Is that it? Way on? Oh, he's way on. That's him. 20k in the bank. 20k in the bank. So he just. Oh, they're showing. This is German from German. a different angle. Here's going to be a long out podcast now. Strap in. Oh! Wackers! Das ist mental! Das ist wackers! Just fucking dudes busting. What else? We got Mandarin? Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Oh no. Oh, Let's no. go, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's go. Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Say something. Spanish. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to hear all of these. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Roca. This one be the best one. Oh. No Let's give a crack at the Arabic. They're not as chatty the rest of these boys. Nah. <laughs> It'd be funny if they just, you know, threw in two culties. Culty WrestleMania. Yeah. Holy fuck! You'd be prime for that, Joe. Oh, why? You'd be prime for that. Culty commented. Fuck me, sir! <laughs> the Rock! Jesus the Taker! Oh my god! Oh, fuck. Just, what does the WrestleMania crowd smell like? Well, it's open air. So. There not need to be. Yeah. <laughs> there not need to be. It's open air. No, you find there's a wild mix. You know? Of nerds. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're about, yeah. About to be up, up beside some smelly dudes. Yeah. Haven't changed their Stone Cold t shirt in <laughs> decades. Yeah. Uh, it's very exciting. It is. I mean, is this, I mean, like, if, if there was another live podcast going on, they say they were visiting Belfast and they're like, we got some special guests. Um, they have a podcast in this country. Uh, you know, give him a round of applause, and you just heard. Well, people go, oh, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah! You love it. and the two of us slap onto the stage, yeah. <laughs> try and run before the lights come yeah. back on. I <laughs> <laughs> stand behind them, gasping. <laughs> he's fucking gasping. <laughs> oh, Jesus, he's puffing. He's blowing out his hole. I the, the lights go out and vape smoke enters the stage. Yeah. <laughs> actual guy, beer. actual guy, just vaping, blowing yeah. clouds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that is fun. Like if you're in the crowd for that, you'd get into it. Like you know, did you drink at these events? Oh yes. Oh, you can because you remember you went to something in Belfast and then arrived at Lavery's. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. And your your good friend Dolly drank a bottle at Echo Falls. Yeah, we got two he, lost he, in the he, sauce he, at the he, wrestling. I mean, the guy was bouncing off the walls, and then he put the straw in the wine bottle and did that, like, what do you call that? Waterfall or something? Yeah. Shotgun, or whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, which is, like, supposed to be done with WKDs. Yeah, he did it with a bottle of wine. Yeah. How'd that night go? Terrible. Terrible? <laughs> Terrible. Terrible. That's great. Terrible. <laughs> Think about it every week. <laughs> Never since. <sighs> I do a lot of those. Thousand yard stare, uh, PTSDs. The horrors is the you worst. Know, you think about something, you say, "Oh God, I haven't had the horrors in a long time." Oh God, I had it on Sunday. I think it's one of the reasons I don't enjoy drinking that often, unless yeah. it's a real celebration. Yeah. Yeah, I had a friend two weeks ago. She just goes, "I'm just done," so I can't handle it anymore. And she goes, "And you know something better? I don't think I've ever enjoyed it." And I was like, "Fair play, do you?" Do I know this person? Uh, Dina. 
Uh, do I hear fair play to you, Dana. I'm heading that road. Well, you've dipped your toes, not you've like one off oh. it for long periods of time. Oh yeah, dip my toes. Oh, I thought you meant you've dipped your toes in drinking. I'd be like, I've I've, <laughs> I've been in the white waters of drinking. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I fucking <clears throat> <clears throat> giving it all that. Me and you wouldn't do well at white water. Ra- oh my god, white water rafting. No, we not we were not offered to do it one time, and I was like, no. I think I made up an excuse that I was sick or something. Oh, the coast steering. Oh yeah, we and I ain't got involved with water, just not for me. Yeah, but there's no way we're sliding our ass into a kayak and flying down a road. Not a chance. Even when I was organizing this stag, I was like an act- activities, and I was like, "What one won't embarrass me?" <laughs> yeah, because it's the big thing with, uh, you know, what do you call them, stag dudes? You were saying there was a lot of, you know, like what can we do to humiliate the, the mm-hmm. groom? Mm-hmm. And you're like, that's you don't want to do that. Yeah, you're all too old for that, carry on. Yeah. And some of the stuff, you know, doesn't age well. Yeah. You know, like one of the boys were like, let's dress him up as a, as a terrorist. And I was like, I, I'd be embarrassed. Yeah. Just be walking about. I don't want to go to jail. I was uh, at a birthday party when I was in uni in someone's house and they decided to get a stripper. And again, not sexy. <laughs> Awkward. You know? Now, was it one of them strippers where it was like... You know, they're basically sent around to bit the c- of them. Yeah. Yeah. And there was a, That's rough. There was a guy that looked like the, the taker. Oh, yeah? Bodyguard. He was standing in the middle and you're trying to be like, take it off. You know, like having fun. And this guy's just like, you know, scoping everybody just in case anyone makes a wrong move. Oh, seriously? Yeah. They usually don't have that. He beat the, That's fuck, good he the, beat the fuck out of in your own house. That's good she had that. And this girl was, uh, yeah, it was a lot of, you know, she pulled, she's very, very thin. Muscular, actually. Okay. Took the tits right out. Big fake tits. The, no. The f- bro. The face? <laughs> Darkness. Bro, the face is not good. But anyway, she, I mean, the face. If I had to describe it. the bath. If I had to describe it, meth. Right. You know. So you just hired. I didn't hire. I was just there. I, was, I, I you know, I didn't hire anything. But I was there. Is this for a friend's birthday? Yeah. Okay. I didn't know the stripper was happening. It was supposed to be a surprise. So I sent in this meth head with fake tits. And she, yeah, it was just pure humiliation. Take the belt off. And they had a, they had a little sound system, but it wasn't like loud enough to create an atmosphere. Oh uh, yeah, you want to drown that out? Yes, yeah, so, you know it was like putting music on your phone. Well, this this guy's like, nah, take your belt off and all, and then smacking him with a belt. You want the JBL flip for? Oh yeah, you want, you want, you want more than that? You want full? You want full speakers? Drown out the weapon? Yeah, you know. And she, he, this guy was kind of like, ha, you know, you have to play along. Like, ha, ha, was ha. his parents there? No, there was one time. Now I didn't go to this one, but there was one time um, a guy I know from school had a birthday party and they did the same thing over a stripper. But his mum was there and all loving it. Oh. Watching her son get his kicked in. <laughs> yeah. By some lady who lived down the road. She, she did, did they know her? I think she was like local enough that it was like a thing that she went around and did this at all the fellas' birthday parties. God. Yeah, well, I suppose if, you're, if you've got all your mates clapping along, you don't, you don't want it to be like too sexual. Yeah. You want to be like, you know, I'm going to take your belt off, smack you in the arse with it, make you crawl around your knees. Well, you probably would rather... Get the fuck out of you, then get actively aroused in front of your mother. In front of your mother, yeah, yeah. Imagine hundred <laughs> percent. Second, I start to get around. I'm like, can you kick my fucking or something, or <laughs> you know, make fun of me? Imagine you, you know, you just you know, you just let it go really sexual. You're like, this is what you wanted. Yeah, and you've got a big sideways pocket boner. Oh god, you know, big greasy tits. How do you go to the kick from that? <laughs> yeah, at, the end, at the end of the night, she just has to fucking not the end of the night, the end of the session. Was it ever a thing where people, you know, in films, a lot of people come out of cakes? Was that ever a real thing, or was it like fake cakes and they take the top of the cake and the stripper comes out? I know how you feel about cake. Is this a is this you sneak sneaking around there, kink? Yeah. yeah where, where do you think someone would do me? <laughs> and you're like coming when you're saying sat- like a big cake that I could be in a cake. Uh, what I'm saying is Is there a cake big enough for me to be in a cake? Yeah or, <laughs> No not for me to be in a God You just did All the harsh Blasting loads oh, <laughs> Birthday cake Sprinkles <laughs> That's your fucking That's your Sexual fantasy Oh uh, pull a birthday cake Would be my Sexual fantasy yeah. uh, <laughs> Just <laughs> Just one pull Slap a cake 
<laughs> slapping about in the bath. I'd really oh, never come out. <laughs> I wouldn't raise. Just, just patting it in there. Take mouth. my nose. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you boner on your side. Oh, I'd go with a smile on my face. <laughs> yes. <laughs> there so go. I popped out. <laughs> what were you going to say? Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it in movies. I but mean, they're not it, actual cakes. You can't physically do that. It's I, too creamy and spongy. You, you see, the, the wor- in the world of cakes, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of smoke and mirrors. Yeah, like wrestling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like if you if you go to a wedding and someone's got like a seven tier cake. Yes, probably only the top ones real. That's fucked up. You know they don't make the whole thing out of cake. A lot of those big cake creations, it's just like you know, like fucking. What do you call that? Styrofoam or whatever? Yeah. And then they cover it in a bit of something that looks That's like cake. That's fucked. They're not making the whole thing out of cake. Yeah, but what I'm... So, s- yeah, what I'm saying is you're probably in like, you know, like one of these ice baths that I got and they cover it in something that makes it look like cake, a bit of fresh cream, you know, and then you just burst out of a thing that's covered in... Yeah. The whole thing is not cake. You can, But they'd have to immediately wheel out and then she'd have to present herself. Because it's a yeah, cl- claustrophobia, <laughs> but... They don't, bake, the roof. they don't bake her into it. <laughs> it will be some sort of structure that they just set on top on and they wait inside. Bake the leisure? <laughs> Name of the podcast! <laughs> bake the leisure, yeah, but it's a fucking... It's a, it's a slow... Uh, who sent me that? Was it me? Who sent me up? It was like, oh, here's a, here's what they... You know, it's like a thing you can hire. It looks like a flight case, but it's for a performer to get them on stage. What? You know, Taylor Swift will like hop in a box and then they run her up the middle. Oh, yeah. And then yeah, she yeah. just appears on stage all of a sudden. I always f- uh, that's pretty cool, I think. There's a plot for a movie. They put Taylor Swift in a box to wheel her to the stage. <laughs> Armenian drug gang takes it. Takes like, the box? There's a confusion. They take it, put it in a lorry, take it away. She's like, hello? And then, you know, can't get out of it. That's great. And then they open it up and they're like, oh shit, we've got Taylor Swift. But there's like a team after them. I'd actually cut that out because that's a million dollar idea. Yeah? I had a million dollar idea. It's on there. If it's jam, I'm going to fucking leave. <laughs> no, but... If it's deaf jam, your brand, <laughs> I'm leaving. <Sorry. laughs> I will make that happen someday. Anybody in the jam business, give me a shout. If you, if Any you, jam moguls out we're there? we're sitting on a pile of gold here. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sitting on a pile of my bollocks right now. the fuck am I done to this? So, you know the way I was chatting about this with Simon after I had about six pints, so he was telling me about Strava. This will be good. Go ahead. Right? Yeah. You know what Strava is? Yes. So, I was just like, what, so you just go for a run, and then you put up your run, and then everyone's like, mm, yeah. go you. Yeah. They should make a better crack version of that. They should do Strava, but for pints. So, when you go out in a night out, you log all your pints, and then you get to go fuck he's in a bad place and then you give kudos same way kudos yeah that's what you give on strava you give kudos okay fair play to you yeah it's yeah it's basically a fair play to you uh, yeah so if you but if do you, it for the you know the sash and the people always post their maps yes what would you post on that you could have the map of if you were doing like a bar crawl yeah all the bars you want to yeah or just like, you know, a total to a total in liters of how much you've had. There you go. Yeah. Kudos. I'll be honest with you. I'd said about twelve liters of sai on Sunday. Jesus. It's a Japanese nightmare, that. That was a Japanese nightmare. Sore head? Fucking absolutely. <laughs> I, 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 for, I forgot I forgot how strong that thing was. The sai's dry fucking yeah. It knocked me for six. Yeah. <laughs> Knock me for I love when you have 12 pints you're surprised <laughs> I only had 9 <laughs> pints in me and I was starting to feel it I am telling. him Kizzy was out too it was good to see him oh yeah you know two of us being jolly and merry <laughs> in the bar <laughs> yeah. the tag team partners jolly and merry and I hate to be you know an old doll at 45 years of age but I was grand to the air hit me and I was gone now were you in a smoking area with Kizzy yeah I don't think it was there yeah that's true I thought I would say it was a fog bank of cannabis. I have went to Larry's before and like got down with Keezy and I've been in the green room all giggling and all. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. What do you call it? Contact high? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's definitely a real thing. Cool. Well, you're in And a, if you think it's not, you haven't been in the car with him. You're in a box with a guy smoking t- 12 joints? Yeah. Deaf weed. Yeah. You're bound to, it's bound to be a bit of 
spillage yeah off the side oh i've felt it you've been spill- spillaged that time we came back from a gig and then we stopped at like a mcdonald's room. oh yeah i walked in i was like what is this spaceship it's too bright it's too bright my you know i had no moisture in my teeth <laughs> oh yeah was it was it going? i was like are you getting a slack are you <laughs> <laughs> are you laughing <laughs> yeah, just throwing a Sprite into yourself to get moisture. <laughs> Worst drink for moisture. Sprite. For, aye, you are for like <laughs> for hydration. Moisture count <laughs> in a Sprite? No. Oh, minus. You throw a Sprite in yourself, you're fucking, it's like you threw a box of sand in you. And it tastes like, <laughs> tastes like shit. <laughs> I heard someone recently say they, cu- they couldn't drink Sprite because it was their mixer. Oh, I've had that with, uh, I had that with Coca-Cola for quite some time. Yeah? Because it reminded me of rum. Cap Morgan's. Too much rum, bro. That was the first two years of uni. That was all I drank. I know, you, you used to drink like a fucking dickhead, no harm, do you? Yeah, well, I've, I've grown up now. You know, you'd be, some of the drink choices you would have, I'd be like, bro, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> we don't need to die tonight. Yeah, but I was a uni student, you know? Ah, of course. What did you drink in uni? Um, what was like a shitty drink that you would never drink now? Like, well, uh, you know, there's obviously a lot of beer intake, mm-hmm. a lot of cider intake. Cider. There, there was boy, this guy I lived with, bit of a bit of a metler. I mean, the guy was my age at the time, so probably like twenty or something. And, uh, uh, but, but he was he, he gave off the vibes of like fifty year old ex metler. You know, mm-hmm. he was like, <laughs> you know. But he was like young But that motherfucker used to drink Jaeger and Coke So he would like literally just mix the two of them So you know he would pour them for you know, here, Have a Jaeger and Coke And you're like thanks bro What an absolute rocket Ugh. He, he totally wasn't a rocket either No He was just nice, nice. Well Mattlers are never rockets No They don't have rocket energy No this, No this guy was like No it's, trust me Trust me and I'm, Trust me It's disgusting Yeah <laughs> <laughs> Another guy I knew uh, Used to have your drink, which was Captain Morgan's Coke uh, with a Guinness head. I've heard of this, yeah. Yeah, and the guy's teeth would, <laughs> you know, represent that. Uh, I just, I'm trying to find... What is... Why can't I get on TikTok? Come on now. I'm trying to get on the Timmy Mallet's page here, because the guy's the guy's doing a, a tour of... Uh, oh, do you know what else I drank it? You know, the, you know the Volvix fla- flavored water? Yeah. I would drink that with vodka. Thinking it was a light drink. Sorry, you don't have room to pass any judgment. I know. And I was drinking fucking vodka. Yeah. Yeah. No, sorry, I'm just processing that. Yeah. <laughs> I would. I'm actually nearly threw up one night because I was drinking the lemon flavored one, lemon flavored water with vodka, and smoked the menthol. Oh, uh, and, and I was like, hey, hey, hey. Your man's in the back, totally yogurt and coke. I'm like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> liquid heartburn. Oh fuck. Oh yeah. The breath. <laughs> I don't. I, I don't like vodka. It's very. Uh, uh, no, we're not. I'm just trying to see some of Timmy Maltz. Makes me think. Who builds straight roads? Well, the Romans did. Except the Romans never came to Ireland. Or did they? Oh. <laughs> they did. We need to transition. Perhaps, unbeknownst to us, they did come to Northern Ireland and they did build a dead straight road. Yeah, who gives a fuck? But it, you know, I, I, I'm just enjoying. You know when you when someone gets fresh eyes on a country and they're just stopping and like, well, that is the thing. Anybody that comes here, par- yeah, they're like, this is fucking amazing. They're like, wow, here we are in in a scaling. I took Ocean to Port Rush, who lives in Hawaii, and was like, this place is magic. <laughs> <laughs> this is the vibe, Strangford Lock Ferry. I'm at Strangford Lock, the ferry. Can I ask you a serious you're question? Port- mm-hmm. Do I look like that? Timmy Mallow? Uh, <laughs> no. You know if I get a, a too colourful a hat on? No. Do I look like Timmy Mallow? No, I never look. You ain't got Mallet vibes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's, you know, if you put all your clothes on, you got colourful clothes. Yeah. If you put them all on at once, maybe you got the Mallet vibes. Yeah, I got the Mallet vibes. Well, Very. Mallet tech. This is the did, they, did he see that guy running across Africa and be like, oh, no, I'm going to do. I'm going to go through Northern Ireland and point at things that are shit. <laughs> It's not a great advert for our country. I do in the summer, you fucking <laughs> agent. Lock in the United Kingdom. 
It's obviously the way to... Look at the looks he's getting. The fuck? This is the lovely seaside town of Porter Ferry. It's the home of the embroidered hanky. <laughs> yeah? Because if your nan ever had an embroidered hanky... So boring. I wanted to know what happened if your nan had an embroidered na hanky. Nighty, you nearly said, you dirty pervert. <laughs> You dirty... There's something very wholesome about that. I like that. Did you see... Let me see what he's going to say about fishy scampies. I'm in Port of Ogi, the prettiest <laughs> fishing village on the Ard's <laughs> Peninsula. All these lovely boats are tied up now. They've come in this morning with their great catch of scampi. The <laughs> finest scampi you'll get. Oh, uh, You know it's a fishing village. Here. And I've had some got... scampi in my time. <laughs> I've gobbled a lot of scampi, and I'm telling you, this is the scampiest. Boat loads. Hanging from the lampposts. And in the harbour, oh yes, right on cue, there's a seal. Wow. Yeah, they're here, waiting for the fish. Man, shout out, shout out to the recommendations in the comments. The Keys restaurant just across the way is amazing. <laughs> Linz, you should have went round the corner and seen all the shells on the beach. <laughs> I, have a I have a vid on my page. Is that an actual comment? Yeah, Mal, it's rushing to the page. Let me see the shells <laughs> on the page. Joanne says, find a wee chippy. <laughs> well, you're on it. <laughs> I've had their scampi and the wee chippy. Mm. Are you doing the Causeway Coast and Glens? If not, you're missing out, I promise. Good to see you in our wee country, Tim. Oh, no, there, is, nice. so there is, yeah, there is something uh, sort of, you know, like, and he speaks with such in passion the too. Of Harland and Wolf Big Cranes is one of the great stadiums of Northern Ireland, the Oval, home of the Glens. Yeah. Glen this is one of the great football clubs in Northern Ireland, and it features in a Van Morrison song, "My Brown Eyed Girl," where he talks about me. Being behind the stadium with you. Oh fuck! I didn't know that. Look at the size of that stand. <laughs> <laughs> being behind the stadium with you, doing God knows what. Van, you fucking pervert. <laughs> but it is, it is, it's, it's sort of so boring that it's fascinating. No, I like it. You like it? Yeah, I like it. Do you see that header that ran across Africa? Yeah, the hardest geezer. What the fuck's he doing? This has been the hardest geezer. It's not an easy title to claim. There's not, I mean, there's some of those, uh, some of those things are, you know, the second they're done, you're just like, oh, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Well, it's not like any life achievement, sort of. Yeah, you done it. What do you do next? Wake up, run across the world, do something else. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I've been talked that. What, what is what is he like a motivational speaker? I don't know what he does. But you, I know the worst thing about that is he probably his body's so like used to just running like fuck mm -hmm. that he can't be like I've completed Africa and I just stop and chill. He's probably straight up the next day run another marathon. Need up someone to kudos and Strava. Oh my! The Strava, Strava again would be crazy. The Strava king. You couldn't keep up with depression. Aye, he completed Strava. That's an app would depress me. People talk about social media depressing you. Strava would depress me. I mean, people are going on three runs a week. The fuck's wrong? Have you quit your job or something like that? Have you that sort of time in your fucking hands? The map is depressing. His is like, just, I, don't, I haven't even walked This is just a line. Yeah. For thousands of miles. Yeah, that's crazy. 16,000 kilometers or something. Is that what they said? 16,000 kilometers. I wouldn't even want to know that. Nah. I would, I'd be like, I'll just keep running until you tell me it's at the end. I wouldn't even want to do that as a passenger in a car. No. 16,000 in a plane is a shift. Yeah. You know? <laughs> That's what here to wear. <laughs> Absolute shift. We should do uh we should do one called the Saftest Geysers and we just we drive from the top to the bottom of Ireland and then get out of the car like ah! <laughs> Oh god I'm in agony the day. There's been a sandstorm on the radio. <laughs> to be fair, you would you would be in agony. Oh yeah, you'd be stiff. You drove to the top of the bottom of Ireland, you'd be fucking stiff. Stiff as a <laughs> stiff as a boy. I was we landed in Toronto, I was stiff. Yeah. Because it was one of the few flights I didn't push. I think it might have been a record for me. You were turged the whole time? First flight, didn't push. Seven hours? Seven hours, no push action. Oh, you must have been dry as a bone. No push action, two meals. Oh, that's bad for you, man. Yeah. Did you push when you got off? 
Yeah. Was it like Bass Shandy? No, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it did feel glorious, but like, yeah. you know, I, I was surprised at myself. Like, because usually the pitch would wake me. <laughs> pitch would have me up at night. The pitch woke me today, actually. Yeah. For the interview. Yeah. I have this thing where, like, if I have something that I need to get up for the next day, like, really important, I will just need a pish right before I have to get up. Yeah. What is that? Nerves. Subconscious. Probably, yeah. Do you know what time I get up at now? 7.20. On the dot? That is my, uh, just body clock. Mm -hmm. And I get up at 7.20. I funny I text you later on that time and you, yeah. yeah. I, I, I fucking rolled over, was waiting for an alarm, thought I'd missed it, hadn't gone off yet. That's a, that's a hair. It is. When you woke up before the alarm. Yeah. Do you go back? No. Or do you not? No. Anytime I go back to sleep after I wake up, it's terrible, terrible nightmares. Yeah. I don't know. It's oh, really? Yeah, it's like my body going, what'd you do that for, you fucking idiot? It's always, I, I wake up and go, oh, I'm going to have a wee lie in, and then I go back to sleep. Terrible night terrors. Couldn't die the last nightmare I had. It only happens if I go back to sleep, though. Yeah. I used to get heaps of them. Yeah. That's one good thing about smoking weed. You lose your dreams and nightmares. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm not a big dreamer. But if I go back to sleep in the morning, I will have... You know, you know those panic dreams? Oh, yeah. You ever... Had, uh, I feel like we talked about this before, but have you ever had sleep paralysis? No. Terrible. Wouldn't wish it more, Sammy. Fuck that. Fuck a misty that ghost just choking you? <laughs> And you find out you're in it? <laughs> freaky. Choke me in this cake in my mind. <laughs> Choke me with cake. Oh, that's a dream. Smother me with cake. <laughs> you know, girls refer to their ass as cake, and you're yeah. like, you wish, sister. Oh, yeah, I have a seven tier. You wish it was cake. <laughs> you wish it was birthday cake flavor. Do you ever get a route to, you know, girls dip their ass in cream and put sprinkles on it? I've never seen that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Is that popping up on your algo? I've seen it before. See, ass cream... Sprinkles. Teddy sprinkles, what are they? Is that a thing? Teddy sprinkles? You know, does that get you up a route there? Nah, it's too much sprinkles. <laughs> <laughs> She's over on it. She's over, what about that one there? Overzealous with the uh, icing. <laughs> She's got the Big Mac out and all. You not be into that? It's like a Simpsons donut. Yeah. <laughs> it's Homer's mouth. Homer's lips. <laughs> Show me that Homer's mouth. Look at this, Bob. That's you. That's you in your. <laughs> that's you in your dreams. She's a black girl. You're a black girl. <laughs> the man guy, you shaving foam for ice in there? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got a gelato hole. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. I could get into that now. Uh, let me see. Uh, <laughs> woman bursts <laughs> out. Of cake. <laughs> Nude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are all like little... Uh, there's Dina Von Tetz. Is that, is that? that? I don't know. It's like a famous person. Dina Von Tetz. <laughs> uh, but yeah, is, that, is this is this what you're... No, oh God. Uh, <laughs> it's McCartney at the, at the deli. <laughs> she took a turn at the bakery. I'm going to... When's your next big birthday? 30th this year. What date? 22nd of September. Right. We're getting you a woman in a cake. <laughs> or you in a cake. That's probably more. Look at that. It's like we need, that's we need, nice there, We right? need one of those tests where they get, put a ring around your cock so if you get stiff. You into that? You into no, those? no, definitely not. <laughs> Bit more of that, maybe. See, no, this is the problem. None of that's cake. Nah. You would be disappointed if, yeah, was, there's no show on that. if it was just the structure and a woman and you were like, yeah, but on all seriousness, where's the cake? Nah, no good. Zero effort. She looks like she's coming out of the toilet. Don't like that. <laughs> Don't like that at all. Oh God, what a day. That'll be the rest of my day, Googling women and kick. Um, we'll get out of here, guys, and we'll bounce on over to the Patreon. Oh, 103. Shout out to everyone who came out to Dundalk the other day. Spirit store in Dundalk, gorgeous. Yeah. Stunning. I've heard great things. Uh, had to, pulled up, had to do a secondary Google and be like, "There's is there like another spirit store? You know, am I going to get killed here? Did the outside it, it, see it's, me? It's literally like a wee port. Mm. Boats and all floating. Oh, pulled up on the waterfront. I was like, "What the fuck am I here?" Oh, that's nice. Then you go in the venue, and it's huge inside. Can you see that from the inside the building? Man, you can sit there. This is why we should go down Sunday, film a special like Niall suggested there. Just you know, a couple of days notice. Who, who cares? Um, go down there, have a lovely pub grub, a couple of creamy boys. 
Did you have some pub grub? You could, I beautiful view. Did you that night? No, I didn't know no. it was available. I, th I thought it was literally just like a, like a live venue. I didn't, yeah. I didn't know it had a full, full suite of things. That's a nice time available. Um, they had a artist. It's phenomenal for if you're doing a gig there because you got the green room, tea and coffee making facilities, enough tiles. I was like, what do you think I'm doing here? Like a fucking scat party? What's going on with these tiles? <laughs> um, and then they have an artist toilet out the back, which has, which is like a little unit with a bathroom in it, shower and all. Mm -hmm. But the door on it's like a PVC door like you'd have on your back door. And I had a dreadful shit in there, but it just felt weird. Like you felt like you were doing it, you know, like outside someone's house or something. Yeah. Like it was like a full PVC door. It was very strange. That was the artist toilet? That was the artist toilet. Shit. And I did some painting in there. Yeah. And I did some artwork. It's nice to have your own wee bog. It's nice for other people for me to have my own bog. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And the guy who ran the gig was... There's like a deck outside of it, like a balcony. So I came out, and he was at the end of a f so he he went out, let us smoke, smoked the whole thing, and I just in the bog behind the PVC door, <laughs> shitting. And then I burst out, and he's like, "All right, Colin," and I went, I was like, "Ah, just uh, let's do a couple of breathing exercises in there, whatever." I'll ruin the end of your. F yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shade he, fumes. He, oh, I'd be happy he was smoking. Yeah. Yeah. You put it right up his nose. Yeah, you have to smell your fingernails after that. Oh. Get the tobacco on you. Disgusting. But anyway, we'll bounce all over to the Patreon, will we? Bouncing. Absolutely. Severe lack of buttons today, to be honest with you. Real, 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 real bad man. Uh, what? When is this going out? We got to, we got to, yeah. Hey. Ah? Monday. Monday. Get on over, get on over to the Instagram bio there and buy some tickets for the tour. Yeah, Darius came and went. Darius came and went. We had a great time. It was a great time. Get yourself to Manchester and Liverpool and places like that. Yeah, maybe Manchester. Maybe Manchester. You know, if you if you missed out on the tickets to Liverpool, go to Manchester yeah, like and bring twelve of your mates. Yeah, maybe fifteen. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, cheers for listening, folks. It's been a pleasure. Also, if you want more, if you want more of this filth, get on over to patreoncom forward slash Bomb Squad Pod. Fifty, fifty-five other episodes. Jesus Christ, Christ Jesus Christ, man. What are we doing? Smoke weed every day. Not that. Not that. Not that. <laughs> not that, not that. Smoking that bandwidth. <laughs> See you later. Anyway. Good luck. Look after yourselves. Yeah, yeah. Hop out. It's round the button. Oh. Shocking. Let's go back to this sprinkly puss. <laughs> <laughs>